Hey y'all, this is AG from On Her Feet and today I'm gonna show you how to turn this into this. A little at-home plant DIY, this is the perfect thing just to get the kids moving or if you're a new plant mom like me and you just wanna do something fun for the house. So there's a couple things that you need. First of all, you need a ball. Um, this is just a little flat basketball I bought from a Nike outlet. Um, this is a mason jar. You don't need the jar, but you do need the lid because that's going to make a very nice base for your ball so it doesn't roll around. You're going to need some rocks and these rocks are to help your plant from getting root rot. And so when you water it, the excess water will run down from the dirt into the rocks and hopefully save your plant. Um, today, I'm going to use a small aloe vera plant. Uh, you can use any plant that you like, but this is the one that I have. And I have a little bit of gold spray paint because this is blue and it kind of matches my house, but I love things to be gold. So I'm gonna spray paint this. And of course, you need a little dirt for your plant and I got some trash bags here to protect my surface area. Let's get started. Okay, the first thing I'm gonna do is spray paint my mason jar lid, and that's just because I want it to be ready to go by the time I'm done putting my plant into the ball. So I got this little piece of cardboard here just to try to reduce any mess. This part is completely optional, but I like everything to match. And just like that, we're done. We have a gold base for our ball. Our next step is gonna be measuring the hole that we wanna cut for the ball. So the best way I found to do this is to get your plant, this one is in a double potter, and just kind of put it on top and then I draw a circle around. The circle that you draw is just gonna be a guide, but you're gonna end up making it wider than the actual pot. Also, you want to make sure that your logos or if you have anything on your ball are pretty straight. Okay, so I did the outline of the pot on the ball and my scissors are not as sharp as I thought they were, maybe because I used them on my previous ball, but I got a knife. We're going to puncture the basketball and then make our cut. Please be careful when you're doing this. After you make that first puncture, you'll be able to get your scissors in there and make the cuts. Okay, so we got this part off the ball and we can see that that hole is kind of small. It's like, how is that plant gonna get in there? And also, depending on the plant you have, you wanna make sure that you have enough room for your plant to spread as it grows. And that way you don't have to worry about replacing the ball or taking it out. So we're just gonna take the scissors again and just continue to follow the circle that's already there and just widen this up until you think it's right for your plant. Now that your hole is cut, you could cut another smaller hole at the bottom for drainage for your plant, but I don't feel like doing all that, so we're gonna add some rocks. The purpose of the rocks is to give the plant some space to breathe when you water it. Um, plants can get something that's called root rot, and essentially it's when you overwater or the plant is sitting in still water, and it just kills your plant. We don't want that to happen. We want our plants to be super happy and healthy in their new home, so we're gonna add some rocks at the bottom. I would say you want to use about probably at least half of this bag of rocks. There's no real measurement and you want to just fully cover the bottom of the ball. Once you get the rocks in there, you're going to go ahead and add your dirt. I'm going to use this smaller cup just so I don't get dirt everywhere because I am in my kitchen. And we're just going to fill this bad boy up. As I'm filling, I kind of push the dirt into the sides to make sure that the ball is full and also leave like a little dent in the middle so the roots of the plant have space to go. 
Now that we've got our ball full of dirt, we're going to take your plant, and be very gentle, and you can kind of squeeze the sides and take it out of its existing pot. And just pull. You can see the plant's roots. Okay, we were gonna get to that. Coming out the bottom. And you're just gonna let all that old dirt fall off because we're replanting him. And you see all these roots here? Just gently loosen them up so they have room to fall. The fact that all this dirt came off is just fine. It made this part much, much easier than it usually is. And try to get rid of as much of that as possible. Be gentle because this is pretty traumatic for your plants, but they'll be well taken care of in just a minute. You wanna loosen up those roots. Don't pull them too hard because you don't wanna break them, but kind of get all that old dirt off of there from the store. And we know stores typically don't take care of their plants well. Get your plant guy in there, and now you're gonna fill the rest of the way. I would say for this part, you wanna pour and pack. So basically, pour your dirt in, get your hands in there and kind of push it down because you want your plant guy standing up and not just falling, or falling over everywhere. And just go ahead and fill the ball the rest of the way up. And once you get all your dirt packed in there and your plant guy settled into his new home, this is what we look like. Super cute, right? After you get the plant in the pot, I like to just wipe the ball down just to get all that extra dirt off of there. You can just use a wet paper towel or like a Clorox wipe or whatever you have handy just to clean it up. And then your last step is to water your new baby. So this water has a little tiny baby pump of liquid fertilizer in it. Again, this is something that I have just because I have a bunch of plants, you don't have to go buy specialty fertilizer for your typical house plant. And this is just something I do to help my plants out. Okay, so your new plant friend is in his new home. We have the rocks in the bottom, so it's actually pretty steady and it just wobbles a little bit. I like to have the extra security, so that's why we're gonna use the mason jar lid that we spray painted gold. It's dry now because it's so small, we didn't have to use that much spray paint. So you just put that down and you put your ball on top. And now you have a basketball planter. I hope you guys enjoyed this DIY. Uh, this is super fun, super easy, takes maybe 30 minutes to do. And welcome to Plant Parenthood.